And it's time for Paul's Five at 555. This is Paul Catalina's Top 5 at 555. Brought to you by Slapsticks Comedy Club. Coming soon, f- follow the Facebook page as, uh, as Kevin and... Uh, and Mike build the club, and you can kind of see the genesis of it. But it's coming soon, and uh, I, I actually just talked to Kevin um, a few minutes ago uh, during the break uh, about some of the stuff they've got coming up and some of the stuff that uh, we're trying to get going at Slapsticks Comedy Club uh, here in Waco. Going to bring the laughter back to Waco uh, here soon. All right, top five complaints uh, about the 17-game NFL season. Number five: Do the fans even want this? Spoke. I mean, did you and I are NFL fans? Do I want one more game? Do I care? Uh, yeah. Uh, I, mean, I, I got to tell you, even with Washington struggling, but they won the division, which brings at least some excitement to the end of the year. No, I, I'm one of the few in America. I think maybe I'm one of one out of every 400 million people that doesn't want an extended NFL season. I'm, I, I like the seasonal changes. I like how you have spring summer, fall, and winter. And you know what I'm getting to here, right? I like the way the seasons hand off to each other. College basketball to Major League Baseball, eventually, of course, the NBA playoffs. And then here we go with football at all three levels, especially in Texas. I kind of like the fact that they all kind of dissolve, and here comes the next thing. Yeah. All right, number four, the players don't want it. I mean, it doesn't matter. matter, It doesn't matter, matter. but, like, it should matter – it should matter to me. I like. I know that they collectively bargained it, but you know, talking to Robert Griffin the third after that all went down last year, you know, it gave me a real unique perspective—not unique, but a real different perspective on. Well, I mean, the, the league is kind of divided among the players about what they think is best and and what's what's good for the league. And you know, I think sometimes the players vote for one thing because they're giving up. They don't know what they're giving up to get what they what they think they want, and the owners have pulled the wool over their eyes. Um, Paul, they, they the players. We know the story here. Yeah. They have no chance of shooting this down. No, they. I'm not so sure that what's the guy's name that runs the union it starts with a D. Oh, uh, Demar Smith. Yeah, Demar Smith. If this was like, hey, we're gonna like lower the cap, and then we're gonna shoot it back up, announce this TV deal. We need you to kind of shut up. And we're going to slip well, and, into and 17 look, games. But that's what I mean. Look, Robert Griffin III was against the the collective bargaining agreement, you know, and, and the league, it didn't pass, you know, it wasn't overwhelming, you know, uh, uh, of the players. So that's, I mean, the players don't want it. I think that's just something going forward. I just want the employees, the people I'm watching, the entertainers that I'm I'm watching to be really into it. You yes. know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't want to go to watch the Lion King on Broadway and then would be like, Matata. you know, same with the NFL. Don't ever, don't ever do those lyrics with that kind of lack of energy. That's, that's what I'm saying though. That's, that's gotta what, be happy. And yeah. like, unfortunately, like some people may not think about us upbeat. Yeah. <laughs> Number three, does it up really eliminate? Yeah, doesn't really eliminate the preseason all that much. Eh, one game. That's it. You know what? The less preseason, the better. I I think two games is fine. Three's the max. Four's insane. So, okay. Yeah, I would do just do two games so that they can get in a rhythm, and then let's go, you know. All right, uh, two. Uh, it's one more game for injuries. It's also, by the way, the, the, the preseason games, they're not going to let that dwindle too much because they make as much money off a game like that as they do with the 17th game. Yeah. So, All right, injury, yeah, one more game. One more game for yeah. injuries. One more game you got to be like, oh, my gosh. Because you know. it's a legitimate game, and it also could be even one more week where teams shut down because they've already clinched like yeah. yet a week before the that's, week before. That's a fantastic point. There's two sides to every coin, and that's the other side of that coin is, you know, if your team is running away the division and – you're a fan who really wanted to go watch Aaron Rodgers play. Well, you know, he might be wearing a jacket. Like, here's an example. Philly, New York, Washington, or Dallas, with their 6-10 and 10 record, will already most likely have clinched the division. And they don't need to play their starters in no. week seven. All right. So other than other than revenue, which I understand is the number one reason to do anything. It's the only reason. It's the only reason. That, but uh, see, if it's just we're going to get money, sometimes 
We're going to get money. The question is, well, what's going to happen to this money if something bad happens? What I don't know if the mean? NFL's asked what, what, that question. What, could, so, what, what if something bad? What do you mean bad? Nothing bad happens. Uh, plenty of bad things happen. You know, like, I mean, <laughs> it's money. It's money. That's I mean, like, all that matters. Yeah, but like, yeah, so, but it doesn't like, it doesn't just, I wish, I, like, I wish it grew on trees or, you know, I wish I walked outside and said, listen, nothing bad happens with money. And then somebody threw a big bag at me and gave me enough time to get away from the hordes of people who were going to come and rob me because they saw the free bag of money I just got. I mean, it just, yeah. oh. I, 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 if it was, and I say, what are the reasons other than revenue? The revenue is going to increase and that's great. And that might, that might trickle down to the players eventually in a salary cap form. But right now the salary structure is not going to change. And two, uh, if it's if the only reason you're doing something is for money, then that's not enough reasons. Is it going to make everything better? Because you could take, you know, uh, everybody in the in in you know all of us at Sikkim 365 could decide we're going to go take other jobs for better money. And if that's the only reason we did it, then I would guarantee most of us would be like, man, I miss Sikkim 365 because yeah. we only did it for money. And so the NFL, I realize this is Which, by the way, would be a good thing if everybody across the board with Sikkim 365 understood that. Yeah. So That it's but, about the money. But, uh, yeah, but so, you know. All right. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Oh, God. That's exhausting. It's about the money. It always is and it always will be. It's like the contracts, the holdouts, and everything else. All